What up, my goats? Today I'm gonna prank phone my best mate, Messi, and I. Ah, this is gonna be great. I'm sure it's gonna be a really funny prank phone call. I'm already getting excited, ha, ha, ha. But we have a problem. Who are we gonna prank? The last prank video we did was on our girlfriends, Antonella and Georgina. I got in real trouble, mate. Antonella wouldn't let me in the house. Ha, 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 don't make me laugh, bro. I mean, our last video was really funny and Georgina wouldn't let me in the house. But then we made up. I think we could prank call iShow Speed today. What do you reckon? Speed? Ha ha ha, we should definitely do it to him. He deserved that prank phone call. We need to troll him, bro. That's right, mate. We're gonna call Speed today and prank call him. I'm calling from a different phone, so he won't realize I'm Ronaldo. But first, you gotta like the video. Yes, friends, like the video and subscribe to the channel because a great phone prank will start soon. Subscribe and like the video before forgetting ha ha ha. I'm very excited, let's start. Yeah, all right, quiet, messy. Here we go. Hello. Hello? Good evening. Good evening. Is this Mr. Show Speed? Yes. Who are you? This is the Los Angeles Police Department. How are you, Mr. Speed? I'm fine. How are you? Thank you. I'm Michael Mount. Is this a good time? For what? What? Good time for what? I mean, if you're free to talk. I am available. Now, there's an issue about a car. I called you about it. Yes. Now, have you rented a car recently to test it? Yes, I rented it. You rented a car. When did you return it? I quit recently. I don't remember which day it was. I see. And when you left the car, was there anything in the car? Now we looked at the car. We liked it very much. We opened every part of the car. Then we made a video. After I took the video, I left the car back anyway. The car you hired was a black McLaren, right? Yeah, that's right. We took a video and we dropped the car back. I don't understand what you're calling about. Is there something suspicious about the vehicle? Okay, I will come to the subject now. Before I come to the subject, let me ask my questions so that we can talk about the subject afterwards. So, the vehicle was empty as far as we saw. We rented the vehicle to shoot videos anyway. There was no problem with the vehicle, but if there was something under the seat in the invisible spots, we did not see them. We don't have a problem under the seat, Mr. Speed. Then there's no problem. What do you do for a living? I'm a YouTuber. Okay, you are a YouTuber. When we search for you, we find you on the internet, Google, etc. But your videos seem a little strange to us. I'm a content producer. So these videos are normal. The videos may seem a little strange to you. How old are you? I'm 19. I see. It's already written here. But just to confirm, your mother's name is Mrs. Watkins, right? Yeah, right. And you were born in Cincinnati, Ohio, right? Yeah, that's right. I got it. Okay. Now, let's get to the point. The day you picked up your car, was there or wasn't there someone with you? I didn't have anyone with me. So if there's a problem with the car, is there anyone who can prove it or not? My friend was with me when we rented the car. We took the car with him. Now Speed, listen to me. Someone farted in this car you're in. I mean, we've smelled farts in the car. Do you know anything about this? Let me ask you that first. So it's me, I got in the car, I just drove a little bit forward, we took a video and left it back. And are you kidding me? What do you mean someone farted in the car? He might fart. Isn't that normal? No sir, that's illegal. You can't fart in someone else's car. It's punishable by imprisonment. Besides, when I first got in the car, there was already a fart smell in the car. So someone got in the car before me and farted. No one would put a car like that in a hire shop, let alone the smell. First he cleans the car, then he puts it in. So after this car was rented, when you left it, it smelled like farts. Last time we inspected the car, we found your fingerprints on the steering wheel, the gear shift. Sir, I took the car to my friends. Everyone touched that car, so it's normal to have fingerprints. Now, wait a minute. You can't call me sir. You'll call me superintendent. I'm sorry, superintendent. Now I'm going to send a police team to your house, okay? You'll appear in court. The prosecutor wants to see you. He's going to interrogate you. We'll get you to sign the necessary signatures and send you to court. 100 people ride in that car a day, so I'm responsible for this issue. Everyone got in the car and farted anyway. I didn't do anything. No one else's prints came back. Okay, dear. We've looked at everything from police cameras to all the cameras on the roads. You're the last person to get out of the car. I have a photograph right now. A friend with long black hair wearing a Ronaldo jersey. That's you. No one's been in the car since then? No, no one got in. You were the last one in. You know what I mean? I understand. I understand, yeah. I mean, look, Speed, this is no joke. Let me be the first to tell you that. You don't realize the situation you're in right now. I'm not going any further. 
we'll get you here. I'm sending my teammates now. Are you home? Yes, I'm at home, but I'm comfortable because I didn't fart in that car. I have my own car. If I want to fart, I'll fart in my own car. Why would I fart in somebody else's car? All right, now shut up, Speed. You may be relaxed now, but you got out of the car on the same day. And no one got in the car after that. You're the last person on CCTV. And on the morning of that day, the car was found to smell of farts. The owner of the car mentions you. They say they gave the car to Speed. But I didn't take the car alone i had my friends with me i handed the car over to them afterwards i didn't do anything wrong you handed the car back to them yes i drove the car we took a video and then i handed it over after that i went home and switched on the broadcast i never even saw the car again you still don't have anyone with you to prove it you're sure i had my friend with me so i took it with him and delivered the vehicle they're already here the owners of the car are here, they complained. They mentioned you. They say they have a complaint against you. You farted in their car. So we looked and you're the prime suspect. I have my own car. If I wanted to fart, I'd go and fart in my own car. I'd even go to the toilet and fart there. It's not my fault. Okay, I'm sending my teammates. Go to court. I don't care if you get three years or five years. You're at home, aren't you? I'm sending my teammates. I'm home now, yeah. Can you come yourself or should we send you? I can't come myself. I don't have a car now. Are they selling that car I rented? You're still asking if they're selling it. You'll never see the outside again. You'll go to jail. Stop joking around. Lieutenant, I'm joking because I'm not involved in this situation. I didn't fart in that car. What do you mean I'm not involved? I can joke freely because I'm not involved in the situation. Mate, it starts at four years, four years. Your sentence is getting higher and higher. According to the rule in the constitutional court, the sentence you will receive is four years. You're just mocking the police for acting suspiciously at the scene. Sir, at the end of this, either I farted and I'll get four years, or I didn't fart and I'll get zero years. Shut up. There's no such thing as zero years. Anyway, okay, my mates are coming soon. They're coming to pick you up soon. We'll have a face-to-face -face with you here. Here, okay okay the owners of the car will be there right they're already here well that's all right then we can see each other okay i'll get you out of there now we'll cross examine you or cross examine you that's for me to decide i'm not involved in the situation so you can do what you like well we'll see when we get here you talk so cool on the phone but things change when you come here all right mister come on let them come and get me whoever farted come out i'm about to cry okay okay speed calm down i'm cristiano ronaldo we played a prank phone call on you see are you fucking kidding me? Hey, Speed. How you doing, bro? You fucking messy. All right, all right. Calm down, bro. Ba, 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 ba. We wanted to play a prank phone call on you, bro. It was so funny, I couldn't stop laughing. Ba, 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 ba. That was awesome. Shit, mate. I was about to cry. It'd be funny if that actually happened to me. Why should I get a prison sentence for farting in a car? That was ridiculous, but I admit I was really scared and it was funny, ha ha ha. I had a lot of fun, bro. I hope the viewers had fun too. Yes, friends, if you had fun, like and subscribe to the video quickly. Like and subscribe quickly. Like the video and subscribe. I was scared to cry here, brother. Anyway, I'm relieved now. All right, speed, calm down, ha ha ha. Friends, if you want more phone pranks, like the video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Goodbye, guys. Bye.